Hi, I'm Dr. K, and this is Sarah. We're about to show you how to use the IntelliRoll to release the muscles of the neck, mid, and upper back. So Sarah's gonna start by lying on her back and first positioning herself onto the spine zone seen here. Once there, she's gonna bring her heels under her knees to get more power out of her legs. So first thing Sarah's gonna do is she's gonna push with her legs until she feels her body lifting, and then she's gonna set her pelvis right back down. And what you'll notice is that her neck will go into the proper contour of the neck. You'll feel this is correct because your shoulders will be elevated off the ground slightly. What this does is it opens up the bottom of the neck and the junction between the neck and the upper back. Once Sarah's in there for about 30 seconds, now we're gonna interlace our fingers and hold our, support our head. And from that position, she's gonna again lift her pelvis slightly and move towards the junction between the neck and the mid-back, again settling the pelvis down. You can tuck your elbows in together to expose that area a little bit better by pulling the shoulder blades out of the way. So before we even roll, we're just gonna settle into those positions just to gain some extension in our mid-back. Very vital to all the loss that happens from our forward postures throughout our day. So bringing the heels back under her knees, she's gonna to move towards the midsection now, again settling the pelvis down and laying back down on it, again gaining extension in the mid-back. Once she's done that throughout her spine, now she can start rolling. So now she's gonna lift her pelvis slightly off the ground and she's gonna use her legs to move up and down through that area. So the best way to accomplish this is lay back as far as possible and it's particularly good on the upper back at the junction of the neck and the upper back. So Sarah, let's move right to that area and from that position, again, elbows tucked, she can stay on that area for a while and you can even go right onto your neck, okay? So it's a very subtle movement. She's not doing a lot of movements, just really subtle up and down through that area. Perfect, so you can do that for like 30 seconds, not more than 90 seconds. 30 seconds is usually plenty. An alternate to this is a subtle rotation. So Sarah's gonna turn very little. I mean, this is a really subtle rotation. So once she does that, what's gonna happen, she's gonna get better contact on the side of the muscles that she rotates to. In this case, she's rotating onto the right side. Okay, so again, she's moving from the neck to the mid-back, getting all those muscles in the upper back where we carry all of our tension. Perfect, so she'll do that on both sides. And once she does it on both sides, we're gonna move into the stretching for the chest and the lats. So this is important because our chest and lat muscles get shortened, and this is vital to the function of our upper back. So from that position, Sarah's just gonna squeeze her shoulder blades back several times, and by doing that, she's gonna get a nice opening through her chest. In fact, if you move slightly towards the base here, where you're on your upper mid-back, you'll get even a little bit better stretch. Moving further down, now we're gonna stretch out the lats. So from that same position, Sarah's gonna tilt in either direction to open up her lats, which are on the bottom of her shoulder blades. Fantastic. So she's gonna do this multiple times on each side, holding each stretch for about five to 10 seconds. Fantastic. And the last release we're gonna do for the neck and upper back is an area we call the subocciput. The subocciput is the base of our skull at the top of our neck. And Sarah, if you turn, we're gonna show our audience. So the subocciput is right here. And we're gonna use one of the body zones, okay, the cupped concave area of the intel roll to release that area because it's gonna cup that area perfectly. So Sarah's gonna start, instead of the, being on the spine zone in this case, she's gonna be in the body zone, so she's gonna lay right back on that area. And this release is, is really simple. So all she's gonna do from that position is she's just gonna turn her head right and left. Okay, slow and deliberate. She's gonna massage the muscles right at the base of her skull. She's gonna repeat that five to 10 times, maybe a little bit more as necessary, but she's just gonna roll side to side, turning her head right and left. And that takes care of Intella rolling our neck, mid, and upper back, as well as stretching our chest out and our lats out.